Today we're doing what's in my camera bag 2020. Let's have a look. So if you've watched my videos recently, you might know that my camera bag of choice is the Lowepro ProTactic 450 AW2. There we go. Nailed it. First try. And today we're going to have a deeper look inside of what makes this bag so cool. The way we'll do this is I'm going to give you a tour of the bag. I'm going to show you what I have in the bag on the outside, what's attached to it. And in the process, I'll also tell you about the bag itself. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's start with the pockets on the side of the bag right here. So on each side, you have these deep pockets that you can store things in. I personally store two power bags inside of them. They're actually quite big, uh, as you can tell. You don't have to have two power bags, uh, but I, I choose to. On the other side, exactly the same thing. Another power bag, I actually have Oh, socks. So next up on the sides of it, I've actually attached different pouches. This one over here actually has a raincoat because I want to have the ability to kind of be able to take my gear anyway and not have to worry about that. The bag itself actually has a rain cover as a part of it. I'll show you in a second. But yeah, I keep my raincoat in here. This pouch over here contains miscellaneous things. Uh, I'm not actually sure what it has right now, but don't worry about it. It's fine. But this one over here actually contains um, a few extra pairs of underwear. Uh, some hand sanitizer and a couple of things that I want to have on hand. On this side, I've got a bottle of water and a, a water bottle holder. Now, this isn't the one that came with the bag. The one that came with the bag was a bit smaller and whilst it could still fit my 1.5 litre bottle, it was having a lot of difficulty doing so. So I got a separate one and it works really well. Then because the bag has a molly system, you can basically attach anything else that is designed to fit with the system. Basically just Google molly pouches, molly attachments, and you'll find a myriad of things that work really well with this. The only issue is that you can go overboard very quickly with attachments, which is what I did. I had a lot of attachments initially attached to this, and it got to the point where the built-in rain cover could no longer actually cover everything, and I had doubts that I could get it on a plane, so I had to downsize a little bit. In terms of the built-in raincoat, it's actually at the bottom just here. It just pulls out. Well, it's attached to the bag and it is absolutely fantastic. I love it because on previous bags, the actual rain cover took up space in the bag, which could have been used for gear. But with this one, it's just built in the bottom and so you don't have to worry about it. So one of the many cool aspects about this bag is the quick access mechanisms. So on either side towards the bottom, you can do this and you can get access to the inside of the bag. By the way, if you found this video to be informative or entertaining so far, make sure you leave a like down below because that will tell YouTube that this video is useful and it will recommend it to other people so they can learn about this bag as well. And now let's get back to the video. Now this compartment right here, which you can access from the other side as well, I'll show you in a second. That's where I keep my camera normally so I can take it out easily if I need to. So that was the outside. Now we're going to start having a look inside and we're going to start with the top hatch. You have this compartment here. Now, in this bit here is where I normally keep my passport or ID if I'm traveling. Uh, I like doing so because it's easy to access for me, but it's behind two separate zippers. So it's very difficult to steal something inside of here. There's also a little bit there for a SD card. I, I don't know anyone that uses it. I mean, everyone's got SD card holders, so mm, whatever. Now the top bit here normally has some clothing and some things like this is my uh, first aid slash uh, medication thing. So like, you know, I have like painkillers in here and a couple of plasters and some bandages, things like that. Some strepsils, it's great. My, my wallet with Romanian money because I'm currently in Romania. It's actually a very nice uh, little wallet. I am a fan of credit cards. I have quite a few of them. Romanian money. Oh, forgot about this. A uh, little iPhone headphones case thing. It's quite nice. I just always put them in there. Right, now let's open the actual main compartment and let's have a look. So the first bit is the uh, the back bit here. So you have these two pouches or these two areas where you can actually hold things. So in the top bit here, I have two portable one terabyte SSDs. It's pretty overkill, but I actually, I use um, one as like a scratch disc for my editing and the other I used to hold my ma oh, actual Ok, 
Okay, that was, it was the emergency alert system on my iPhone. And I actually have two. <laughs> So they both went off because apparently in the state that I'm in right now in Brasov, there's been a bit of an increase in in, uh, uh, in the things happening right now, cases. <sighs> so these bad boys. I have two because one of them is used for as a scratch disk for my projects, my Premiere projects. And the other one is actually used to store my massive sound effects library. I have about a terabyte of sounds that I've purchased or recorded during my career as a freelance sound designer. So it's super handy to have them on hand just because you never know. And by the way, there's one more thing I have to show you. The bag, of course, also has a pouch for your laptop. Now it's just here, so you can actually access it without opening the whole thing. So I have a MacBook Pro mid-2014. It's not the thickest, nor is it the thinnest laptop, but it fits in without any issues. If you have a gaming computer, you might have difficulty actually fitting it in there. It's not a lot of room, but it's enough for more slim design laptops. So yeah, that's the top bit right here. The second pouch, I actually have a load of bongo ties, because they're <laughs> super handy, and I have extra bits for my drone, uh, to which I'll get in a second. Okay, so sorry about the mess in the bag. Uh, I filmed a lot of B-roll in the forest. So, let's go through the actual bag, show you what I've got. In this bit over here is where my camera sits with the kit lens that is currently on it. In this compartment right here is my 50 millimeter F1.4 Canon lens. I use this mostly for portraits and just, you know, natural light photography when there isn't much light available. This is one of my SD card holders. I think it's mostly cards for my audio recordings. Yeah, and a few for my camera as well. Uh, in this empty slot here, that's where my microphone that's currently on the camera sits. This bit right here, this is my charger for my DJI Mavic Mini. It's got two batteries in it right now, because there's one in the actual drone. This is a drone itself. Uh, this is uh, the bit that holds the actual propellers uh, tightly together, just so that they don't break when I uh, you know, look for my bag, which I do quite savagely. Next up is my DJI remote. Very nice. I keep the cable attached to it just to get easier access to it. Down here, I keep my aperture light. It's a tiny light, which I keep with me. Super handy. I may or may not overview it, depending on when this video comes out, but I'm definitely going to at some point. This is a second SD card holder. I have two for some reason, even though the first one isn't full. So this has some more camera SD cards and it has some mini micro SDs, one or the other for the actual drone. Now, here's the interesting thing. I've got two Canon chargers. And what I do is I actually have four batteries for my Canon 77D. Two of them sit in the actual camera and two of them sit in their chargers. So when the batteries go empty, I just swap them around and the empty ones sit in the chargers. Very handy. And the final bit, some Bluetooth earphones, very handy. An adapter, a UK to EU adapter. A little tie for the cables that charge the actual chargers and oh, one of these. Very nice. So that was a tour of the bag. Bear in mind that the bag itself is very modular. The inner pockets, all the little compartments on the inside are completely customizable. It actually comes with more dividers than you saw. I've actually had to put a few of those dividers away because I don't really need as many. I've been trying to minimize the amount of gear that I carry with me at all times and so I just took the dividers out and just made more room for some extra clothing and things like that. So this has been my review of the Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW2. I personally don't have any complaints in regards to it. It's modular, it's versatile. You can buy Low Pro branded attachments or you can just buy third party attachments for it if you want to. The only complaint that I've heard is that apparently it's not 
quite as sturdy as the first model. I can't vouch for that because I've never had the first model. Although I've had this bag for seven, eight months. It's been super. I've carried it with me everywhere. There's no real signs of wear and tear on it, even though I've thrown it around unintentionally and carried it with me, you know, across Europe. All in all, I absolutely love this bag and I would buy two. I just, I just don't need to. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, just so you know, if you want to check out any of the products mentioned in this video, I have affiliate links down below in the description. They lead to multiple stores so you can pick and choose which store you want to view them in so you can see how much they cost in your country and potentially buy them if you want to. Also, if you want a more in-depth review of the features of the bag and loads of extra detail, I actually have a more in-depth review of the bag on my website over at skiesaudio.com. I also have a link for that down as well. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.